surrealism. It's a term that we associate with uh, an art, uh, artistic style which represents a superior or a, a super reality. As uh, a structural engineer, I can attest that <laughs> it, each of us has our own uh, inner artistic voice. Uh, when recently I was uh, given the opportunity to publicly exhibit some of my creative works, I left it the chance. The um, opportunity was an emergency shelter exhibition, uh, which was held on uh, the forecourts of Sydney's Customs House. Uh, ten designers were, were briefed to uh, create, come up with emergency shelters that could be built with, with uh, no skilled labour and using uh, materials that were readily available in a post-disaster scenario. My flat pack concept consisted of um, uh, plastic gabion walls in which rubble, brick, timber, um, plastic bottles, etc., could go into. Uh, and provide a, a security, uh, insulation, thermal mass, noise attenuation, those types of, of physical uh, attributes. And uh, a blow-up roof, which uh, perhaps on the, on the top surface was a, a third generation solar panel and underneath was a, um, a high-tech um, insulative fabric. These next couple of images help depict uh, uh, or more communicate more clearly my concept, but also some of the intangible uh, benefits that I was hoping to achieve. A recycled polypropylene plastic as these gabion elements could have a, a luminescent uh, additive. The, the, the shelters themselves could act as a visual beacon to displace people, but also to provide a, a comforting uh, nightlight for those uh, experiencing shock. These uh, gabion wall units could also be used for storage and uh, elevated sleeping platforms and benches. But some of the intangible elements, um, providing people with a sense of worth uh, and an activity to do, uh, a sense of place and belonging, these are all things that are, are vital in, in this sort of scenario. So that's the surreal version. And then, uh, uh, I suppose, addressing the logistics of actually coming up with something to exhibit in Sydney was something else entirely. Uh, the scape, or, or my, my dreamscape, looked probably more akin to the reality of, of those people displaced by disaster. But things picked up uh, as we started the build. Nine architectural students from QUT came to Sydney to, to assist. Um, they. Their, their talent and creativity helped to mould and, and uh, improve this, this concept. And there were several times through the build process that I was, was quite humbled and, um, and amazed at, uh, at their, their capability and creativity. So um, instead of you know, this high-tech, wonderful uh, roof element that I couldn't source, we, we got a, a PVC saxon up and threw in some, some queen-size airbeds and had a, a robust and practical element that was just fine to, uh, um, to top off our structure and act as a roof. The team and I shared this sense, wonderful sense of success and achievement. And uh, I also took from the experience a sense, uh, a sense of belonging and place on the forecourt of Sydney Customs House. Um, due, through to uh, building this thing, which is one of the intangible benefits that I was hoping to achieve. The exhibition uh, generated something like $10,000 for charities such as the Red Cross Shield Appeal. Um, there was some interesting uh, benefits that, that uh, we, we ascertained through having to use different coloured modules, etc., such as uh, this lovely transparency from the black module Just having a bit of trouble with the clicker here. We realised the illuminescence by lighting with LED, um, which was um, uh, powered by a couple of marine batteries in series. I had a bespoke, uh, into a, a lighting designer create a bespoke uh, pendant for us, and I powered that with uh, a uh, glow stick. <laughs> we had no power on site. This image is us looking at the wall of the shelter, which is lit by the LEDs, and through a window to this, uh, this uh, bespoke feature pendant with the, with the glow stick. And um, this, this reality uh, was far superior to, uh, and, and the outcome was far superior to anything that I could have hoped for from, from this surreal vision that I had. 
And I would like to suggest to you that sometimes when reality bites, it's kind of nice. Thank you. <laughs>